Good afternoon, I'm Simon Caulfield and today we are at a very exciting project on the north facing riverfront in Byron Street, Balimba. The complex is better known as Barker Balimba and it was a design by Arkerfield, constructed, developed through ADCO and Construction Group. I'm going to take you through Terrace Home 4, which is one of our largest residences on offer. Just under 400 square metres of total living area. Now as you walk on through to your right hand side, for those with Plenty of vehicles, motorbikes, jet skis, storage. These garages are enormous, not only in their width and length, but also in their height. One of the exciting things about the terrace homes at Barker was our developer decided early on, through demand from the feedback in the market, to put in lifts to accommodate the three-level arrangement. So not only do you have the convenience of a large lock-up garage, but you've also got the powder room and laundry which also is home to your lift that will encompass the three levels of Terrace Home 4. Now this is one of my favourite parts of Terrace Home 4. As you work your way through, there's not many homes that we get to sell in the 4171 postcode that have a kitchen like this. Corian backbench, Portsy marble, veneer, integrated appliances including the refrigeration and you've even got a wine fridge which is going to be fantastic for that self-isolation that we're all going to go through. As a matter of fact, if you buy Terrace Home 4, I've already pre-stocked it with plenty of champagne and a few beers for the lads. Now, if you make your way around to the left, again, beautiful, expansive living, dining and outdoor setting. You won't find a home of this size, nor will you find a home in this price point that has the width that is on offer. Our typical small lot homes are around seven and a half metres. These terrace homes span as wide as eight metres. Now, the courtyard has an interesting pod style balcony system, which enables us to have a seamless floor from internal to external. The water drains quite efficiently. And outside, you've got very much a peaceful arrangement with all that beautiful garden. And the barbecue's also been installed as a feature. It does have access to the town gas, so you'll never have to head out to the servo again, although they are still open at the moment. Now staircases can sometimes be seen as problematic, but when Arkerfield were given the arduous task of designing these graceful large terrace homes, they decided to make the staircase a feature. And as you follow me up, you'll notice that not only does this staircase transcend to the first level, but we've created this amazing atrium with skylights at the ceiling. So, you really get this full effect of natural light. And again, if you're going to be spending a lot of time at home over the next few months, what better place to do it where you've got plenty of natural breezes, plenty of natural light. Guys, I'm going to head up to the second level. I'm going to let you sneak up in the lift and I'll see you up at the media room. Hello there. We're now on level two. Now, level two is home to the three bedrooms that are separated from the master on the level above. You've got your own powder room, which is perfectly positioned straight off to the right. And that also is beneficial for not only the media room, but the two bedrooms that face the front of the home. We have had an option where if you do need a third bathroom, we can actually facilitate that within the space that you're currently in. We've found most purchases in the terrace homes are quite happy with the accommodating features. This TV room or media room, or even for one client, we've turned it into a beautiful art gallery. It's just another separation space from the downstairs living and dining area. Now again, those two bedrooms at the front, they are facing due south. Uh, they do have their own terrace to the Juliet balcony and they are separate with an amazing amount of storage and wardrobe space. 
For young kids who love to slam doors, you can't do a thing with these soft clothes. So it's a feature that we're yet to see. Again, beautiful high ceilings throughout, lots of natural light. Terrace 4 is one of only two corner style uh, terraces. Now this is our largest terrace, there was two designs in total. But because we are on the corner, you get the benefit from all that natural light. Um, the facades changed. There was three different designs that we had off the plan. This is the most preferred of the two um, with the larger layout and obviously the smaller layout, it was a single design. So bedrooms range around four by four meters, including then the additional space for storage again for the wardrobe. So you can fit king size beds, you can fit a study desk in, you know, a great room for either a young child or an adolescent teenager. And again, heaps of storage space. Hanging, drawers, the whole lot. I love these soft closed doors. Let's head back out to the uh, third bedroom. Now the third bedroom is separate to the rear of the terrace. Uh, obviously the benefit with that, if you do have a larger family, you've got that um, separation, but also the main bathroom, which is to your right, does have a bath and shower. And again, abundance of storage space. So uh, nice big mirror. This room feels really, really spacious. Vetrified tiles that are on the floors and the walls, so super easy to keep clean. And look, we are in a digital age these days where, you know, children, adults, we are on computers more often. So we decided to create a study space over there to your left. And the design with that was that the children can be sitting at their desk, obviously they can be doing their homework, and mum and dad can be below down at the kitchen or the living room and still have visibility. Or if you want a feature where you don't want to have your study present downstairs, away from the guests, it's a beautiful working space up here. For those that are conscious of their privacy, we've also put these amazing automated blinds in as well. So if I just press that button there, we'll notice that uh, they gradually close over. It's hard to believe that for a modern home like this, you get all this technology space and features. And for a price of around 1.7 million, it's extremely competitive for a freehold home in the Bulimba marketplace. But not only that, we do have a body corporate. So all the facade treatment, everything that you actually benefit where you'd have to fix it in your own current home, we cover that for 1,600 a year. And guess what? That even gives you access to the 25 meter lap pool, which we'll show you soon. So that third bedroom here, it's got an enormous walk-in robe. And the walk-in robe's around to your right. You've got plenty of space for the study again. So as much as we do have a designated study, I think one thing that's really important to understand is each of our bedrooms does have the ability to accommodate a desk. You can just notice how much light that blocks out with those automatic shutters. You've got four windows that run along there for ventilation. And that part of the terrace is due north. Look, I reckon this wardrobe will fit half my suits, but that's doing um, you know, quite a lot in terms of space because for a third bedroom, a spare bedroom, if you think of it that way, it's uh, uncharacteristic to see wardrobe spaces like that. Nice high ceilings that run throughout and every single bedroom benefits from ducted air as well. So. If you only have the one child or the one family member that's living on the second level, you don't have to have the air conditioning running all year round for the entire top floor. Now guys, I'm gonna shoot up to the last level. I'm gonna let you take the lift up again. And um, this is a master suite that you probably haven't seen before. So I'll meet you up there. Now guys, as I say, happy wife, happy life. So behind us here, we've got this amazing walk-in robe. And um, if you wanna keep the wife happy, I'm sure she's gonna find plenty of space for all of her clothes, shoes, handbags. Let's, fa let's face it, we're gonna have a lot of time on our hands over the next few months. So they're probably gonna be online shopping. Behind you there is your wardrobe. And look, I'm sure that that's more than ample for the space that you need. I mean, look, if you're lucky, um, there is a little storage space behind you there. And um, if you do get in trouble for bringing the surfboard or the golf clubs home, 
We've tried to eliminate that conversation by giving you a nice little storeroom here as well, um, or if you misbehave. But um, I'm gonna take you through to the right, and this master suite, I love it. Not only, again, have we got those accentuated ceilings, but look how much space there is. And the best part about the master suite is it's on its own on the top floor. So if you've had a big night, you've come home late, you don't have to do two flights of stairs, straight out of the garage, straight out of the car, into the lift and away you go. Plenty of natural light again. And if you head over this side here, I think one of the rare features um, that we do forget about most character homes or renovated homes in Bulimba, even new builds for that fact, is we don't get this type of height and elevation. So out there to the southwest, we actually start to pick up a view of Newstead and the CBD. Uh, again, amazing ventilation in these apartments. So we don't actually have the air conditioning on right now and I reckon it's about 10 degrees cooler than outside. If you walk your way through, two way ensuite. You may remember we did have a bath in the main bathroom downstairs. So we've also got a second bath up here. So again, a feature that's not that common. Plenty of windows for ventilation, huge shower, toilets tucked away as it should be. And look, again, you'll keep the wife happy at Barker because you've got a double vanity, lots of storage space. Again, you've got the medicine cupboards above and you've got the drawers underneath. So I've never sold what I'd say the perfect piece of real estate, but I can say this, there's very little compromise by buying a terrace home at Barker Balimba. And as I said before, we do have a 25 metre lap pool. It is the only 25 lap metre lap pool of its kind in 4171 in the entire eastern suburbs of Brisbane. So you've got access to that all year round. We've got the pending barracks down the road that has been purchased by Shea Group. That is so exciting because it's basically the gas works of Newstead that is going to be on our doorstep. And one other thing I'd like to point out is there is no further riverfront development to be built in this precinct. So aside from the developments that are already built and the ones underway in Byron Street, the barracks itself will afford a number of hectares of parkland, then retail, then residential development behind. So your investment in Barker Balimba will be underpinned not only in the short term, but in the long term. And for those of you that live in big houses or have large blocks and you're fed up with looking after the pool, well guess what, that $1,600 a year is a massive cost saving, but not only that, you get your Sundays back. So we're gonna head down the end here and not only is this 25 metre lap pool the longest pool in what 4171, but also I'd say that it's one of the very few that actually faces due north and with an eastern aspect. So take a walk through here. check out that view. I heard that Tom Hanks was in the Gold Coast. That might be him out there coming back looking for Wilson. And what you are looking at is not only the Brisbane River, but the future walkway that will take us down to the Balimba Barracks. So if you don't want to walk down the street, you can do it peacefully along the river.